Albania, Parthian, Ardan, Middle Persian, Aran, Georgian, Rani, usually referred to as Caucasian Albania for disambiguation with the modern state of Albania, is a name for the historical region of the Eastern Caucasus that existed on the territory of present-day Republic of Azerbaijan and partially southern Dagestan. Around the 1st centuries BC and AD, the land south of the Greater Caucasus and north of the Lesser Caucasus was divided between Colchis in the west, Caucasian Iberia in the center and Caucasian Albania in the east. To the southwest was Armenia and to the southeast Atropartine. After the rise of the Parthian Empire the kings of Caucasian Albania were replaced with an Arsacid family and would later be succeeded by another Iranian royal family in the 5th century AD. The Myronids Names The Parthian name was Ardan, the Arabic was Aran. The name of the country and the language of the native population, the Caucasian Albanians, is not known. Aguank is the Armenian and the most historically referenced name for Caucasian Albania. Armenian authors mention that the name derived from the word alu, meaning amiable in Armenian. The term Aguank is polysemous and is also used in Armenian sources to denote the region between the Kerr and Araxes rivers as part of Armenia. In the latter case it is sometimes used in the form Armenian Aguank or Hegwank. The Armenian historian of the region, Movsis Kargan Kathvatsa, who left the only more or less complete historical account about the region, explains the name Igvank as a derivation from the word Alu, which, he said, was the nickname of Caucasian Albania's first governor Aaron and referred to his lenient personality. Movsis Kargan Kathvatsa and other ancient sources explain Aaron or Ahan as the name of the legendary founder of Caucasian Albania or even of the Iranian tribe known as Alans, who in some versions was a son of Noah's son Yafet. James Darmestata, translator of the Avastar, compared Aaron with Ariana Vago which he also considered to have been in the Araxes Ararat region. Although modern theories tend to place this in the east of Iran, geography. In pre-Islamic times, Caucasian Albania, Aran was a wider concept than that of post-Islamic Aran. Ancient Aran covered all eastern Transcaucasia, which included most of the territory of modern-day Azerbaijan Republic and part of the territory of Dagestan. However, in post-Islamic times the geographic notion of Aran reduced to the territory between the rivers of Karar and Arax. Ancient Caucasian Albania lay on the southeastern part of the Greater Caucasus Mountains. It was bounded by Caucasian Iberia to the west, by Sarmatia to the north, by the Caspian Sea to the east, and by the provinces of Artsakh and Utik in Armenia to the west along the river Karath. These boundaries, though, were probably never static. At times the territory of Caucasian Albania included land to the west of the river Karath. Albania or Aran in Islamic times was a triangle of land, lowland in the east and mountainous in the west formed by the junction of the Karar and Eris rivers, Mill Plain and parts of the Mogan Plain, and in the pre-Islamic times, corresponded roughly to the territory of modern-day Republic of Azerbaijan. The districts of Albania were, Cambusena, Getaru, Elni, Zena, Beg, Sheikh, Zolmaz, Kapalik, Hambasi, Jelavu, Heheri, Kaladasht. The kingdom's capital during antiquity was Karbala. Classical sources are unanimous in making the Karar River the frontier between Armenia and Albania after the conquest of the territories on the right bank of Karar by Armenians in the 2nd century BC. The original territory of Albania was approximately 23,000 square kilometers. After 387 AD the territory of Caucasian Albania, sometimes referred to by scholars as Greater Albania, grew to about 45,000 square kilometers. In the 5th century the capital was transferred to Partiv in Utik, reported to have been built in the mid-5th century by the King Vash II of Albania, but according to M. L. Chormont, it existed earlier as an Armenian city. 
In a medieval chronicle, Ajayi Badunia, written in the 13th century by an unknown author, Aaron is said to have been 30 farsakhs in width and 40 farsakhs in length. All the right bank of the Kara River until it joined with the Ararus was attributed to Aaron. The boundaries of Aaron have shifted throughout history, sometimes encompassing the entire territory of the present-day Republic of Azerbaijan, and at other times only parts of the South Caucasus. In some instances Aaron was a part of Armenia. Medieval Islamic geographers gave descriptions of Aran in general, and of its towns, which included Bada, Balagan, and Ganja, along with others. Ethnogenesis Originally, at least some of the Caucasian Albanians probably spoke Lesjic languages close to those found in modern Dahistan. Overall, though, as many as 26 different languages may have been spoken in Caucasian Albania. After the Caucasian Albanians were Christianized in the 4th century, parts of the population was assimilated by the Armenians and Georgians while the eastern parts of Caucasian Albania were Islamized and absorbed by Iranian and subsequently Turkic peoples. Small remnants of this group continue to exist independently, and are known as the Irdi people. The pre-Islamic population of Caucasian Albania might have played a role in the ethnogenesis of a number of modern ethnicities including the Azerbaijanis, the Armenians of the Nagorno-Karabakh, the Georgians of Kakisha, the Laks, the Lesgans and the Sakhers of Dahistan. Alphabet and languages Caucasian Albanian language According to Armenian medieval historians Movsis Korenatsi, Movsis Kargan Kathvatsa and Koruin. The Caucasian Albanian alphabet was created by Mesrob Mashtots, the Armenian monk theologian and translator who is also credited with creating the Armenian. This alphabet was used to write down the Udi language, which was probably the main language of the Caucasian Albanians. Koruan, a pupil of Mesrob Mashtots, in his book The Life of Mashtots, wrote about how his tutor created the alphabet. Then there came and visited them an elderly man, an Albanian named Benjamin, and he inquired and examined the barbaric diction of the Albanian language, and then through his usual God-given keenness of mind invented an alphabet, which he, through the grace of Christ, successfully organized and put in order, a Caucasian Albanian alphabet of 52 letters, bearing resemblance to Georgian, Ethiopian and Armenian characters survived through a few inscriptions, and an Armenian manuscript dating from the 15th century. This manuscript, Matenadaran no. 7117, first published by Ilya Abuladza in 1937 is a language manual, presenting different alphabets for comparison, Armenian, Greek, Latin, Syriac, Georgian, Coptic, and Caucasian Albanian among them. The alphabet was titled, Aluanic Gurney. In 1996, Zaza Alexidza of the Georgian Center of Manuscripts discovered at St. Catherine's Monastery at Mount Sinai, Egypt, a text written on parchment that had been reused in a Georgian palimpsest. In 2001 Alexidza identified its script as Caucasian Albanian, and the text is an early lectionary dating to perhaps before the 6th century. Many of the letters discovered in it were not in the Albanian alphabet listed in the 15th century Armenian manuscript. Muslim geographers al Mugadasi, Ibn Hawkel, and Estakra recorded that a language which they called Iranian was still spoken in the capital Bada and the rest of Aran in the 10th century. Iranian languages Iranian contact in the region goes back to the Median and Achaemenid times. During this Arsacid dynasty of Caucasian Albania, the Parthian language spread in the region. It is possible that the language and literature for administration and record-keeping of the Imperial Chancellery for External Affairs naturally became Parthian, based on the Aramaic alphabet, according to Tuminov. The predominance of Hellenism, as under the Artaxiads, was now followed by a predominance of Iranianism, and, symptomatically, instead of Greek. 
As before, Parthian became the language of the educated. With the establishment of the Sassanids, Middle Persian, a closely related language to Parthian, became an official language of the Sassanid Empire. At this time, Persian enjoyed even more success than the Caucasian Albanian language and the region was greatly affected by Iran. According to Vladimir Minorsky, the presence of Iranian settlers in Transcaucasia, and especially in the proximity of the passes, must have played an important role in absorbing and pushing back the aboriginal inhabitants, such names as Shavan, Lazan, Balakan, etc., suggest that the Iranian immigration proceeded chiefly from Gilan and other regions on the southern coast of the Caspian. The presence of the Persian language in Iranian culture continued after the Islamic era. Religion The original population of the Caucasus followed different pagan religions. Under Archimenid, Parthian and especially Sassanid influence, Zoroastrianism also grew in the region. Christianity started to spread in the late 4th century in the Sassanid era. The Arab conquest and the Chalcedonian crisis led to severe disintegration of the Church of Caucasian Albania. Starting from the 8th century, much of the local population converted to Islam. By the 11th century there already were conciliar mosques in Parta, Karbala and Sheikhi, the cities that were the creed of Caucasian Albanian Christianity. These Islamized groups would later be known as Lesgans and Sakhurs or mix with the Turkic and Iranian population to form present-day Azeris, whereas those that remained Christian were gradually absorbed by Armenians or continued to exist on their own and be known as the Iridi people. The Caucasian Albanian tribes of Herita were converted to Eastern Orthodoxy by Dinar, Queen of Herita in the 10th century. The religious affairs of this small principality were now officially administered by the Georgian Orthodox Church. In 1010, Herita became absorbed into the neighboring Georgian kingdom of Kakatai, eventually in the early 12th century. These lands became part of the Georgian kingdom under David the Builder finalizing the process of their Georgianization.